Hey everyone, welcome back to RJK English and RJK Urdu. Make sure to like and subscribe. And do you know anyone else that wants to learn Urdu script? Uh, make sure to talk to me about it. Remember, I am not fluent. I'm uh, like somewhere around e intermediate uh, with Urdu. I'm, I'm better with Hindi at this point. Um, but uh, I am mostly trying to get you accustomed to the beginnings of Urdu and how to read and write it. Um, and how the sentences work. I want you to learn in a way that I wish I would have learned when I was learning, okay? So we've gone over the present simple tense. Um, we've talked about how Urdu is SOV. So they, every day, to the office go. Instead of they go to the office every day. That's how we would say it in English, okay? But this is something that we do regularly. This is if someone says, uh, what do you do every day? You say, um, I every day to the office go. Main har roz daftar jata hoon. Main har roz daftar jata hoon. But what if they say, what are you doing right now? And I say the same thing. I'm going to the office. I wouldn't say every day anymore, right? Because that's something that's repeated. I would say, Main, main daftar going on Me daftar ja raha hu Me daftar ja raha hu and I'm going to write it out here like that Me Daftar Ja Raha Hum. Okay, what does this mean? I to the office uh, go. Am, uh, remain, something like remain, go remain am, go remain am, uh, or how would we say it in English? We don't say I go to the office. What's wrong here? I am going. So see how we use the verb to be in this, and then we use an ing of the verb we're talking about. We conjugate this one. I am. You are going. We are going. He is going, right, to the office. So we use this here to show something we're doing right now. In, Hind in Urdu, it's the same. Mad daftar ja raha hum, not jata hum. So what are we doing when we say ja raha hum? What is the verb to go? Jana to go, right? What happens to the na when I conjugate it? It drops off, right? So what is it when it drops off? Ja. Ja. And now I'm going to use raha. And raha is going to take the conjugation that ja da did before. So instead of saying ja da, I'm going to take that TA that means male singular and I'm going to move it to Raha. Raha. And then I'm ending with the whom. See how this, this is taking the conjugation. 
what would it be if I said if it was male and plural? Jarehe. Jarehe. Jarehe hang. Because we can't be plural in me, right? So this would be hum jarehe hang. What if it's plural and female? And we're saying hum. We're saying hum. We would say jarahi. Rahi hang. Rahi. Right? Um, what if it's uh, singular and female? Uh, vo jarahi he. You see how it's working now? So, me dr ja raha hon. Why is it raha? Singular male. What if I'm a woman? Jarahi he hon. Right? If I'm a woman. Okay, so let's look at this. This is subject, object, verb. Right? Okay, so I to the office go remain am. That's really what I'm saying. I to the office go remain am. Rehena means to remain or to continue or I'm sorry I'm not saying the exact right thing okay it can mean many things again I'm not fluent so but that's the idea that you can have of this continuousness okay so let's look at how we can change this based on who's doing it so I said medukta jarahi hu if I'm a woman right what if I say you and I I'm going to use op right Ab, and I'm talking to a woman. Ab Dr. Jarhi Hang. Hang. You, female, go to the office, go remain R. Right? What if it's a man? Ab Dr. Jarhi. Because remember, op and thum are plural. Rehehen. You, male, to the office go remain R. Now, let's try thum. Thum. How do I write thum? Like this. Thum. Thum. Dafter. Oh, sorry. Dafter. Ja rehe. It needs to stay masculine plural because thum is plural. Rehe ho. You male go to the office, go remain R. But it's thum. Okay? What if it's hum? We. We. Oh, sorry. Hum. Hum. Dr. Ja, and we're all men, or we're a mix of men and women. Rehe, ja rehe, hang. We, male, to the office go remain R. We to the office go remain R. Okay? Um, what if we're a mix of men and what if we're all women? Rehe, hang. We, female. Okay, and let's end with what if it's an it, or let's say he, he. Vo, dr ja, and it's one person, ja ra ha, he. He, to the office go remain is. And we would say remains, right? Remains is. What if it's a she? Rahi he. Vo dr ja rahi he. She to the office go remains is. All right? That's how uh, present continuous works. So next time we're going to actually learn sentences.
that we can use in uh, in daily life. But that's how this works. Okay. So um, if you have any questions, make sure to add them in the comments or uh, send me a message on RJK English or Baltimore Hindi Language Learning Club. Um, I, my book is in the description. Uh, I have a lot more in that. And um, it's an ebook, I think like 250. So if you want to support the, want to support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe and buy the book as well. All right, see you next time.